Hello friends, the question is like this. Evaluate the given definite integral as the limit of the sum. So we have been given this definite integral x squared dx from 2 to 3. Okay. Now to solve this by applying the concept of definite integral as the limit of sum, first of all we take this formula and straight away apply to this expression. So in this formula what we have to do First of all, we are going to write with respect to this condition in the given definite integral f of a, f of a plus h and so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h. So the, here a is the lower limit. Okay, so here the lower limit is given as 2. So this will be equal to limit of h tend to 0 of h times 2 uh, f of 2 plus f of 2 plus h plus f of 2 plus 2h up to f of 2 plus n minus 1 into h. Okay. Now further, we have been given n is equal to b minus a upon h and when h tends to 0, n tends to infinity. So n is equal to 3 minus 2 upon h because the upper limit b is equal to 3 and lower limit a is equal to 2. So I get n is equal to 1 upon h or 1 is equal to nh right now it has to be noted that fx was x square okay so i've written fx so that this formula we apply in phrases not directly so that a confusion may be created so fx is equal to x square so what i'm going to do i'm going to calculate the first of all the value of f of 2 f of 2 plus h f of 2 plus 2 h and so on and calculate the total Okay, so therefore I've written this expression in terms of f of in terms of f. Okay, so f of two is equal to two square is equal to four. Okay, because f x is equal to x square. So first term f of two is calculated now. F of two plus h is equal to two plus h whole square is equal to four plus two into two into h plus h square. Again, f of two plus h is equal to 2 plus 2 h whole square is equal to 4 plus 2 into 2 into 2 h plus 2 h whole square and so on up to the last term that is f of 2 plus n minus 1 into h which is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into h whole square which is equal to 4 plus 2 into 2 into n minus 1 into h plus n minus 1 into h whole square okay so now we are going to do the total of all these terms. So in left hand side I can write this first, second and and so on up to the last term. Now I'm going to do the totaling of these terms in a systematic manner. And it is like this. 4, 4, 4 is there in all terms. 4, 4, 4 and so on up to 4. So this 4 is going to be added n times. So I can write this as equal to 4 plus 4 n times and this will be equal to 4 n okay similarly 2 into 2 h plus 2 into 2 into 2 h 2 into 2 into n minus 1 into h can be written as 4 2 into 2 is written as 4 h plus 2 h up to n minus 1 into h and this h square plus 2 h square next term would be 3 h whole square and the last term is n minus 1 h whole square so h square can be taken common so I can write this as 1 square plus 2 square and so on up to n minus 1 whole square. So I have to calculate the value of these terms. Okay. So to calculate the value, I take 4 times h plus 2h plus up to n minus 1 into h. Here I can take h common. So I'm going to get this as 4h times 1 plus 2 plus and so on up to n minus 1. The sum of the series which is obtained here is given by 1 plus 2 and so on up to n minus 1 is equal to n into n minus 1 upon 2 and this can be written as 4h times n into n minus 1 upon 2. Okay. Similarly, h square times 1 square plus 2 square and so on up to n minus 1 whole square 
can be written as applying the again the sum of the series is given by that is sigma n minus 1 square that is 1 square plus 2 square up to n minus 1 square is given by n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 upon 6 is equal to h square times n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 upon 6 okay so these values I'm going to place in the in the total in the summation and that is I'm going to place it's the value of these two terms as we have solved so this was solved as 4h times n into n minus 1 upon 2 and this was solved as h square times n into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 upon 6 so I'm going to get this okay so this h first of all I'm going to multiply inside the bracket and I'm going to arrange all these terms and next thing what we have to observe is the here is this that when I take the limit I have two variables n and h limit of h tends to 0 n tends to infinity okay so I have to remove one of the variable before applying the limit so I'm going to remove n and apply limit of h tend to 0 so on multiplying n inside the bracket this can be written as 4 times nh this nh written as product together and this h is going to multiply in the bracket to get nh minus h upon 2 similarly this h square is equal to h into h 1h is written as nh 1h is going to multiply inside the bracket nh minus h and this h is going to multiply with 2nh uh, with 2n minus 1 to give 2nh minus h and you can see here nh is equal to 1 okay so I'm going to replace in all these places nh as equal to 1 so I'm going to obtain 4 into 1 plus 4 into 1 into 1 minus h upon 2 plus 1 into 1 minus h into 2 minus h upon 6 okay now on applying the limit that is placing h is equal to 0 I get this as equal to 6 whole 1 upon 13 on or 19 upon 3 which is my required answer okay so you can see this calculations also so this will be equal to 1 by 3 this will be equal to 2 this is equal to 4 so it is very easy to solve this as equal to 6 whole 1 by 3 or 19 by 3 okay to watch more of these super videos and for the latest update Subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.